Hey, Dylan, just wanted to ask, how was yesterday getting back on the practice field, and, and how do you feel from a health standpoint? Uh, getting back out there yesterday, um, I felt really good. Um, I feel really great actually being out there with my teammates again, you know, being that it's been a year, you know, since I've been out there. And uh, as far as, like, my health, I, f I feel really good. Um, I just need to um, keep, you know, just keep getting better, just, like, far as developing that uh, feel for being on the field again, Except since it's been a while. But other than that, it's been great. Dylan, I want to ask you about the importance of this season going off without a hitch for you, considering you were injured all last year. How important is it uh, for for you to be able to show that you're 100 percent back in your, in your last year of college? Uh, it's very important. You know, um, I want to be able to, uh, you know, um, put like a punctuation on the back end of my career here at Alabama. And at the same time, I want to be able to um, affect my teammates. You know, that's the reason why I came back. You know, I care about them uh, and I love them. You know, so for me, it's, you know, to be able to affect them and, you know, get our guys back to how we used to be. Hey, Dylan. Uh, Coach yesterday was talking about areas of improvement for the defense this year and mentioned the red area. And I was just curious, uh, in, in your view, what does the defense have to do to get better there? Um, I honestly feel like, you know, the defense as a whole just needs to get better at, with communication and everyone just has to be confident. And I feel like with me being out there, it gives guys a sense of uh, security and, you know, confidence in our communication to where we'll be able to, you know, communicate from one side of the field to the other. So uh, another thing we also need to work on is um, making teams one dimensional. So and we have to have that have that mindset, you know, when we go out on the field. So it's more so like more of a mental thing. So that's what I've been trying to focus on since I've been back. Aaron Settles is next. Go ahead. Um, Dylan, Alabama's defense, the standard there is incredibly high, and obviously it slipped a little bit last year. How, how frustrating was that for you watching that? Do you think you could have made a difference in that, and what difference do you think you'll make this year? Oh, yeah, of course I feel like I could have made a difference, but, you know, you can't look back on the past or reminisce on things. You know, you have to keep moving forward. So uh, now that I've sat back and looked at the things we really need to work on, um, I've been trying to apply it in every way possible as far as being a leader. You know, not trying to be like a hard-nosed leader, just trying to be like one that can understand his teammates and, you know, be there for his brothers. So, you know, he's just trying to get get there, you know, slowly but surely. Hey, Dylan. Uh, I, I know a lot of people coming off a knee injury like that talk about the confidence they have and, and finding that confidence to, to run and cut on that knee. Uh, how, how long did it take to get there? And are you there? And how does it feel right now for you on the field? Uh, honestly, it was it was a long process. Um, I was trying to actually rush my process, but you know my body kept telling me no. So uh, as time got went on and I got more and more stronger, um, it was times I would go out on the field without a brace and you know like that, and I'll feel great. You know, I don't think about it. I don't have any second thoughts or uh, or be, be second guessing or whatever when I'm on the field. You know, I actually feel really good. You know, so I feel like once it's actually game time, I'll be ready. It is Don, go ahead. Yeah, Dylan, kind of going on the same track as that. It was about a year ago right now that you got hurt. You know, you're coming back through rehab and then the pandemic hits. I just wonder where you are mentally about, about everything. I mean, how hard has this last year been? Uh, this last year has actually been really hard for me, especially in the beginning when I first got hurt. But um, as far as COVID and you know us practicing and getting ready to play and all the uncertainty that's that was going on before, you know I'm actually pretty at peace with it. Um, either way, it was it would it would have been you know good in my favor whether if we had pushed the season back like we did or haven't played at all. You know it would have been great for me because at the end of the day it would have gave me more time to heal. So. Um, like I said, I'm kind of like neutral in that sense, but at the end of the day, I'm happy. Hey, Dylan. Uh, upon announcing your decision in December, you said that you know the, the big thing for you was grinding with your teammates and then being able to win a national championship. How much does your decision to play this year hinge on that ability to play in a national championship game? And 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 you know, what are your thoughts on maybe how that's going to be handled moving forward? Uh, honestly, I'm really focused on one game at a time. 
uh, especially with my guys. You know, I, I try and get them to understand that. You know, I, even in practice, you know, you got to focus on one play at a time. So you're trying because it, you know, uh, move on towards that and like focus it towards the games as well. So I try and use it in every single situation that we go into. But as far as like our readiness and how we want to execute what we want to execute, I feel like I feel very confident in that. You know, especially with me being able to be hands on with guys and getting the guys' heads and be a you know a leader on the team. You know, I'm happy to be able to do that. John, what's your impression of the new sports science center and, and the guys who are running it, um, especially, um, well, I, I don't want to say in comparison to last year, but what's different? Uh, actually, for me, it's, nothing's really different. I'm actually very familiar with these guys. Um, I actually help coach. We're recommending them you know, to come here. Um, they were my strength and conditioning coaches at IMG Academy, my senior year of high school. And um, whenever I was over there, you know, they you know, put out very good results and dropped my 40 time, got me stronger. I was healthy throughout the season. You know, I've had nicks and nacks every, every now and then, you know, that's football. But um, I felt great when, they, you know, they were my coaches. But like, you know, now, you know, it's even better. You know, it brought back uh, old memories. Thank you, John. See you next. Hey, hey, Dylan, I'm just wondering, after, after what you went through last season and then you made it a, probably, a, I don't know if it's a tough decision or easy decision to come back, and then you got COVID, Mm -hmm. Were there points where that was going through your mind where it was discouraging, whether it was frustrating? Um, I mean, what went through your mind with all that going on, with the uncertainty about the season? Oh, yeah, it was very um, frustrating because I'm not the type of person that likes when things are up in the air or, you know, stuff like that. And, you know, I like for things to be certain. So uh, having all of that going on and having to try and focus and keeping, like, a purpose in mind, knowing that I'm doing all of, you know, the workouts and the training for a reason, you know, it was hard, you know, self-motivating myself to do that. But being able to I was overcome it and, you know, be at the point where I'm at now, you know, I'm, I'm grateful. Two more, Charlie and Steve. Hey, Dylan, I just want to ask, watching from the sideline last year, what did you think of the job that Shane Lee and, and Christian Harris did as true freshmen stepping in for you and Josh? I actually think they did really great, you know, as true freshmen. You know, they did better than what I could have did at that time because I know when I was a freshman in August, you know, I was still learning. You know, so, you know, I commend them for doing a great job and stepping up and taking up taking up that role and only losing two games with two middle linebackers as two middle linebackers as freshmen. You know, that's that's great. You know, so them coming back this year and me being able to help them and lead them and give them, you know, some of the things that's helped me along the way and pass on my knowledge. You know, it's it's a great feeling. Then one of the guys in the back that came with you in 2017 was Daniel Wright. Where have you seen him grow the most as a player and as a leader in that secondary? Uh, I've seen him grow, grow a lot. You know, he's um, been communicating a lot in the uh, back end. He's been giving um, a lot of feedback, help, help for me actually, you know, and uh, having to communicate on the field. Uh, he's a strong leader in the weight room, strong leader off the field as well. You know, guy just has a good head on his shoulders and I, I believe he's ready to have a great season. Okay, thank you, Dylan.